Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another reaction video. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and today we're gonna do another reaction video and we're gonna do the first big sign and we're gonna do the first big sign of Alam Madi. So without any further ado guys, let's get it. I love you Allah. Al Mahdi, as in Sahih Muslim, you find this hadith, he will come out, he will appear in Mecca. He will appear in Mecca. And the scholars will identify him with the descriptions that the Prophet ﷺ placed about him. There are certain features about him white forehead, sharp eyes. Big, big sharp eyes, a thin nose which is slightly hooked on the top. Al Mahdi. They know his other signs. Some of other, some of his other signs are the following, so that no one can think Al Mahdi is someone else. He has particular signs. They are all authentic narrations from the Prophet sallallahu alaihi You'll find them in Sahih Bukhari, in Sahih Muslim, and other Sahih, the authenticated hadiths. A lot of the scholars agree that the first of the major signs will be the Mahdi. Who is Al Mahdi? Al Mahdi, literally in Arabic, Al Mahdi means in English the awaited one and the anointed one. So the chosen awaited one. His name is Muhammad. You'll find this hadith in Sahih Muslim. Rasul Sallallahu says, His name is like my name and his father's name is like my father's name. So his name is Muhammad, the son of Abdullah. And he resembles the Prophet Sallallahu not in his physical form but in his character he resembles the prophet ﷺ in his character allah said about the prophet muhammad ﷺ, you o muhammad are on an amazing character this is allah witnessing to this so his character is, is perfect this man al mahdi will be will resemble the character of the prophet sallallahu and he said he will rule and lead the Muslims until he transforms the world. He will fill it with justice and peace as it was filled with injustice and tyranny. So how many years did it take for the world to be in this terror and tyranny now? Al-Mahdi in only a little while, in a short span of time, by the help of Allah, with his knowledge and with his ability, will change this state of the whole world from injustice to justice, from tyranny to peace, just as it was filled the other way. So every the balances will be returned with the coming of the Mahdi. And the Mahdi, some scholars say he's born now, and others they say not yet. We don't know. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only knows this. But as I said before, the minor signs make it a possibility that he probably is right now here. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. We don't, we can't, the thing about the signs of the last hour is that we can never pinpoint them or describe them or give it a time or a, or a time span exact or to say, you know, this is when it's going to happen or whatever. So we can't do that and pinpoint it. We can only speak in general. There will be a group of Arabs from within the Jazeera al arabiya from within the Arabian Peninsula, somewhere near Mecca. They will hear about the Mahdi and they will not agree with him. They, they, they'll say he is not the real one. And they will come from an eastern direction of Mecca. They'll come in with an army to, to, to fight Al-Mahdi. So the first people in Mahdi will fight are Arabs who are under the banner of Islam. But they've gone wrong. As they are approaching, a group of them, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes the earth swallow them. They all die. And a group of them fight him and Al-Mahdi destroys them all. Prophet ﷺ said he will fight offsprings of two Khalifas. And we've had many Khalifas in the past. We've had the Ottoman Empire, we've had the Abbasi, the Fatimi, we've had the Umawi Khilafah, we have many different. And when he says the offsprings, meaning of them. Allahu alam which ones exactly? But the first ones are Arabs. Allahu alam they could be of the Abbasi or the Umawi ones. And and he said he will wipe them off. So the first are the Arabs. And the companions asked a messenger of Allah, what if among those Muslims who fight him are proper Muslims? 
and they die within that battle like that, what's going to happen to them? Rasul Sallallahu said, every one of them will be gathered on the Day of Judgment on the intentions they died for. On the intentions they died for. Even if they were the wrong army. That's one of the first major signs of Al Mahdi. I'm really confused here. Okay, Al Mahdi is the chosen one, okay? The one who's supposed to come and uh, most probably try to create peace and create balance on earth. So the question is the first big sign of Al Mahdi. Okay, so it means the the first big sign of Al Mahdi. So will it will will will, will he come after the World War Three or maybe the war that is happening around or before? I don't know. But what I'm thinking is, I think when the when the, when the world is at war, maybe when the world is at a place where there is no balance anymore, I think that's when Al Mahdi will appear, the chosen one, and try to bring probably peace and try to. Uh, you know create balance and whatnot yes so but you know the different the different stories you know um the one that famous that i know is that um there's going to be like a great war that's going to happen and then the antichrist that's when he's going to come in and most of the people are going to believe that he is the one and people are going to worship people are going to follow him and whatnot but in the actual sense he is not the real um, real Christ is actually the Antichrist. So the question is, will the chosen one, Al Mahdi, come before the Antichrist or after the Antichrist? And yeah, just let me know in the comment section what's going to happen really. Of course we don't know what's going to happen, it's so unpredictable and no one knows. But yeah, as as we see right now, things are, there's so much tension around and we see lots of people waking up and that's a great sign people are waking up to the truth and people are seeing that they have been lied they have been lied to they have been told lies throughout the years and the truth is come to is coming to fruition and i believe that by the end of 2022 2023 or even going to 2030 lots of people will have been awake if nothing really happens, like for example, uh, World War Three or whatnot, but I believe people are waking up, and it's because of uh, the kind of energy that is around. There's just an energy that is just moving around and waking up people. People are, you know, converting to different religions of their choice. The ones that they feel like this is the one that I feel like has more peace and whatnot. And we see that in Islam, lots of people have been converting to Islam and that's a pretty good thing. That's a really amazing thing. But anyway, um, if anyone has a, a explanation on Al-Mahadi, like when, not really specific day or time is going to come, I just want to know, will he come, will the chosen one come after the Antichrist or before the Antichrist or after when there is like war going around or maybe when everybody is <clears throat> everything is unstable is in balance is he going to come at that particular time or when things are going on well just let me know in the comment section below thank you so much guys for watching and if you're new to this channel we are funny jesse we do a lot of reaction videos and the most important thing guys don't forget to subscribe in the comment section below and also don't forget to hit that notification bell if you want to be the first person to watch our videos until next time i'm going to see you and this is.